How's it going guys? Rods Aquatics here. In this video I want to go over my tank and the tank stand that I built myself. So I actually followed the King of DYI on YouTube and uh, that's how I built the stand. This is how it came out. Put these doors on it. I got an automatic light that turns on when the door opens, which was one of my new additions that I think is the best thing ever. It's super easy. It lasts a long time. But yeah, the two by fours all around, except for two two by sixes in the corners. And then underneath, I have two filters where I keep all my uh, chemicals and everything bubble bubbler extra hoses and everything on this side we have the FX6 and then a Sun Sun 504 B let's wave my hand here get the light back on and uh, yeah I put a detachable floor in case I ever need to get underneath it and I uh, just got holes in the back for the inlets and outlets Having that one bar here with all the outlets has been very good too. I would recommend, and I am going to do this soon, is that I'm going to put a tubware underneath there. I saw another YouTuber doing that because I actually had a leak in my FX6 valve. I did a did a filter change, filter cleaning rather, and. Uh, we turned it on and everything and water was leaking out went through here went onto my rug it was a whole a whole mess well now i have a water sensor sensor in there and everything but still i'm gonna put that tub of so this way if it ever does leak it catches it right away i got the fx6 outlet there and inlet back there and then the sun sun's outlet is right there and the inlet is over there I don't know if that's the most optimal setup, but this has been working great for me. My tank is always pristine, clean. I'll go over what's inside of my filters and how I arrange them in another video. This is just for a tank, how I set up the tank and everything. I have the wave maker here and I'm gonna be honest, I only run it for like maybe two hours a day. Uh, I find whenever I put it on, all the fish kinda just hide out and then they don't really enjoy it even if I have it on the lowest setting. Maybe I need to get a less powerful one, but they they really don't like it that much. Um, the fish tank itself I got on Craigslist for a really good price. And honestly, buying a tank off Craigslist, I recommend it. As long as you test it out and see if it holds water, you save so much money doing it this way. Then I have a nice big light bar on here, 72-inch light bar. Again, I got this on eBay for like 100 bucks. It works great, has all different colors and everything. And uh, yeah, you gotta make sure that you cover the backs up completely. Because I have, uh, in the beginning, I thought no fish would jump out and boy was I wrong. I've had multiple fish jump out and then, so I made this as tight as humanly possible. And I haven't had a single issue since. As far as the, the, the cosmetics inside, I, I try to change it change up the layout every like two months or so because sometimes they get a little territorial and they think one rock is theirs so if you mix it all up it uh, helps them establish new territories and keeps things fresh um, I keep changing it so I just put these two uh, pots in here because I had cave like cave like things but they were too small and honestly the pots work great and they're not that expensive Plants are fake because uh, these plant these fish will just eat the plants. So I just have fake plants in there, and honestly, they're kind of a pain to keep clean. The brown algae grows on them. No matter, I do my water changes weekly, religiously, 50% water changes, and I still get uh, some algae. I did, however, just pick up this guy, my bristle nose pleco, last week. Not even a week, probably like five days ago. And you can see how much of the brown algae he's already eaten. Oh, this wood looked almost identical to how like this is fully covered. So he did a lot of good work. 
Thinking about getting a second one, but I don't know yet. The driftwood you have to soak. It's kind of a pain in the butt when it's that big, so that this way it sinks. And uh, yeah, I bought all this from my uh, local fish store. Those driftwood and the rocks, and the and the substrate. I find that I, I like the rock substrate for these guys. I just think it looks good. I'm not against the sand. Maybe in the future I'll try sand, but I think that the rock setup is uh, pretty nice with this. They don't really mess around with the rocks too much. And then I have two heaters, two fluval heaters in case one goes out. And they have the thermostat inside. You can see I have it at 81 half. And then this one, same. It's heating up right now. You see the little red glow. They're both set to the same. In case one goes out, you have two to make sure that your fish don't die. And uh, well, this is my for frozen food for blood worms and stuff. I put it in there and then they love it. It's probably their favorite thing ever. And then I got my bubbler in the back, which is good. Uh, keeps the air moving. But with my uh, sun sun filter, I have it along the top to cause even more air bubbles. So the oxygen levels are high in the water. Um, I probably, I vacuum it every week and deep clean I probably do every six to eight weeks but uh, hopefully things will be a little bit less brown algae when uh, this guy continues to do his, his job I do feed him other than him just eating the brown algae but he really does a good job on that Let's see what else what else I do recommend getting an extra hose and maybe even an extra uh, one of these filth, uh, oh my god, L valves because my, like I said, mine broke and then I had to order it and it was a whole thing. My filter was down for like four days and it's just good to have because you know eventually that thing's going to break. So yeah, uh, I didn't really say which fish I had in the last video. But I'll give you a quick overview here, and then in another video will go into more detail. But I'll just show you as a little finisher fish we got in here. Red shoulder, some tiger stripe, silver dollars, my convict, my Salvini. That's my lemon Oscar, Bert. That's Pringle. He's my main man. He's the best fish in the tank, in my opinion. My blue Acara. They don't all have names. And then, like I already showed, the person was Fleco. He goes from place to place and hangs out. There is one more in here. She's she's very shy. Oh, here she is. She's a really, really nice looking Severum, but right now she's she's shy. I don't know what the deal is. But she's usually out and about. Maybe she's a shy of camera. But yeah, so this is my tank. This is the setup. I, I recommend building it yourself and you know it's going to be stable this will last forever with the wood that i put in here you go to pay pet smart and all that shit and you buy a stand from them you're not going to get a uh, the quality like this this thing is indestructible compared to the plywood you'll get from petco and pet smart so yeah this is my tank it has different color modes too on the on the lights i really just run it in the straight up bright light. I don't really like the disco looking colors. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.